uh, Coach Zeka Max, the main famous for the lollipop, is here with us. Uh, Coach, I just want to understand what is your role uh, in this sports institute and what uh, are you hoping to achieve with these boys? Well, my role, firstly, I'm a partner in the, in the, in the Balderstone Sports Institute and the role as a technical director is to oversee the coaching program, to implement the program, to support the coaches, to guide the coaches, to create coach-the-coach -coach programs uh, for our coaches and obviously guide them. You know? So it's about development, but uh, it's development with education because uh, all the youngsters that you saw here today, they study with us. It's a full-time course. Uh, they study in the morning, they train in the afternoon. And we, uh, we offer life skills, just everything about football, you know, in, in a nutshell. Mm, that's, that's very good to hear, Coach. Uh, look, you've been involved in the game for a, for a very, very long time. Uh, what is your view on the current state of South African football and uh, development in general? Well, if I have to rate development, and I've got to be realistic here, uh, some clubs are doing well, okay? but it's not enough. If I rate it between uh, 0 and 10 as a country, uh, I would say maybe 4, because we're not producing enough players, there's not enough youngsters coming through, the standard uh, is not good enough to, com to be competitive, and you see it with the national team, we, we battle, we see it with the PSL, we see it with the NFD, and the lower you go, the worse it gets. So, if I rate it between 1 and 10, or 0 and 10, I'd give it a 4. But there are clubs that are doing exceptionally well, but it's not good enough. We don't have enough football in the provinces. Uh, football, from my point of view, is mostly in Gauteng, in KwaZulu-Natal, in Cape Town, and then the rest, you don't hear of it. There, there are no leagues out there, and you can only develop if you have leagues, if you have a, an organization that drives football in the right sense. So, yeah, we're going nowhere, and you will have the same talk in the next 20 years. Uh, as much as that is difficult to hear, I'm sure you're, you're a man who has solutions. In, in your view, what can be done to turn the situation around? Well, you know, uh, who runs football in South Africa? SAFA. Mm. That's where it starts. You've got to implement programs. You've got to not only talk about them, but you've got to dri drive them. Uh, you've got to have a league, league structures in those provinces. There's got to be more, more football. Uh, school soccer is definitely not the solution. Far from that. Um, and it's only with football leagues out there in Mapumalanga and Polakwani and uh, in the Free State, proper, properly run leagues in different categories. Uh, can we see with proper coaching as well, can we see the benefits? Other than that, we, we, we talk about development, but not, we're not developing at all. Okay, before I let you go, coach, I'm sure you'll be happy about the resurrection of Morocco Swallows. Absolutely, it's a delight. For me, I'm happy. I'd like to see the birds flying. Um, again, uh, they've got an organization behind them now. They've got a good chairman. There's a good president. They have a vision. Good sponsors on board. It's a completely different club to when I was there. Uh, and you can see the, the fruits. You know, it's, it's very simple. When you do things in the, right, in the right way in football, it definitely pays off. And Morocco Swans at the moment are a good example of that. So I'm happy to see them fly, definitely. Thank you very much, Coach, for your time and good luck with your Sports Institute. Thank you.